Okay, so this is a tutorial for Homes with Home, uh, speedrunning it, and uh, very, very, very important if you're going for one match strat. And uh, I'm gonna try to explain the spawn and the thought process for this level, and how to know if you have uh, correct amount of enemies killed, and if you're missing some type of enemies, because there's few enemies, there's only few enemies actually running loose, and most of them are just set spawns you can kill, there's only like few that like, can cause really bad problems. Um, so, when you spawn on this level, you trigger quite a bit of enemies, you trigger two club guys, one dog and two pistol guys. And uh, this tile triggers them and they are located. One pistol guy, second one, and the dog. I believe this is one. Yeah, that's the dog. And then the second club guy is here yeah so there's five enemies spawns right away and when you go in this pick up these ammos and uh, meds and then when you get out they're coming at you and what you do is you kill this guy and I'm gonna tell you, if this guy doesn't shoot the window and break it, you might be able to shoot it and break it directly, but if it's not broken, you want to face against the window and shoot, it will break. It's a bit weird, but that's how it works the best. And then after killing this guy, you jump down, you land here. Now, this area spawns this guy, and that guy, I believe. Yeah. And these guys are going to hunt you, and then you run here. Now, what you want to do is run past this, which triggers this dog and the pistol guy. And, again, all these are set spawns. These are... You cannot mistake this for any other enemy. Um, so you run here, kill these two, and you come back. And usually these two club guys you spawn after landing from balcony are here. You kill them. Now, after that, there are no other enemies alive except those two pistol guys, two club guys, and a dog. Right? Five enemies who are running around. And when you're coming this way, you get to this area, you usually get greeted with one of the club guys from inside the house. Maybe both of them. But if you do, that's a good thing. You kill them, and then after that, you have only three guys, uh, two pistol guys and a dog running freely. And then you run past this, it triggers these two enemies. There's a dog and a pistol guy. Only after this, these guys will trigger. So, you kill these two guys. And then you get into the uh, front yard. Now... I'm gonna go a bit more detail after, but when you go through here, it triggers a dog, pistol guy, and another pistol guy behind the van, and um, and then uh, what you want to do is. You do not want to shoot these guys, even though they are shooting at you. 
you only shoot if somehow a dog would be next to you. But here's the thing. Only dog who can be here is from inside the house. The early level spawn dog. This one, right? You kill that one. And you ignore the two pistol guys, which are this one here, this one, and this dog. You ignore them completely. So you go here, kill the dog. Um, if you don't see the dog here, or even here running around, and you know you haven't seen it, right? When you go towards this door, the dog is like 90% of the time behind this corner camping you. So be aware of it. And you go inside the room or the house. You kill the two pistol guys I was talking earlier. The ones from the front yard early spawned. They run into the house hunting you. They sometimes get lost here. Sometimes they get trapped all the way back here. So you must go hunting them instantly. And then after you kill those two, you come back and there is this one, this one, and this guy will follow you into the house and you kill them here. Or whatever order they come in, right? That way, first of all, you save health because when you go in, and around here, you create a block, and like, you lose vision from these enemies, so they can't shoot you, really. And you only have to deal with the pistol guys, and then you, after that, you go here and kill these guys. And that gives, that gives the most consistent way to do this level with one med pack. Obviously, it's good for two med packs as well. Um, main thing is, even if you do two meds, you don't want to kill these guys first when you enter the front yard. The reason is, if you get unlucky, you get a dog in this corner. You get the two guys who are wandering around the mansion instantly outside or like near the doorway. So that's three enemies. You have these three, all of them are shooting at you at the same time. You will not be able to tank that amount of damage, especially if the dog accidentally hits you. So that is a big, big no. Um, now, to tell you a few variations you can have, and these are easy to track. Because if you see, especially before these, like, if you're here and you have a random dog running around outside here, that dog is 100% the front yard dog. It cannot be anyone else. So that means if you kill that dog wandering here, you're like, okay, that's a good one. I don't need to worry about it anymore. Because if the dog is running here, it cannot be this dog, or it cannot be the one here. It just cannot be, because it, they are they are not triggered even. And even the, if they were, they wouldn't be fast enough, right? You can also have an outcome when you come from here, kill the dog and guy, you see the club guys running here, and you see a pistol guy running around it. And shooting at you. That is one from the one out. Uh, the one. Uh, it is the one from the mansion wandering around. And if you kill the pistol guy here, anywhere, just randomly running around, even if you're here and you see it around here, it is the guy who's running from the mansion. And if you kill that one, so remember, now you have killed a wandering dog. Wandering pistol man. Now there's only one pistol guy inside the mansion. Um, 
and then you kill these guys and you proceed to go in the mansion, kill the one guy. If you're really, really, really lucky, you have the two pistol guys when you're here running towards you. So you have like the two club guys from like wandering around. They are usually at this alleyway or before these two guys here. And then you have the two pistol guys as well. And that is a dream because, first of all, they're not running around hiding in the mansion. And you just can, you can get easy and fast kills. Usually you don't even lose that much health. So you kill those two guys, the pistol guys, and that means you have zero enemies in the mansion anymore. And then you just... If you have zero enemies in the mansion, that's easy. You don't have to go. And then when you enter the front yard, you just kill these three guys here. And then come back and this guy will spawn. It's always this one, usually, like if, it, if it's done correctly. Um, what else is there? So there's one, one thing is... Um, if you have killed four out of five wandering enemies, which are the two club guys, two pistol guys, before entering the front yard, you still will go for these guys. But just remember that the dog is somewhere here most of the time. So just be aware of it. But just go for this, these three guys on the front yard instantly. And just kill the dog. Um, but also, if you don't see any pistol guys running around here, those are the two guys like usually trolling you. The club guys come out, but the pistol guys are usually really bad. Um, the the really bad outcome is if you have them around here. Even one of them, the game cannot handle more than five enemies at the same time. So, the furthest ones can get deloaded and they cannot move until either you kill enemies or you go closer to him to load him so he can run at you. So, that's why we go also inside the mansion, just to get rid of him fa as fast as possible. And... Also, one last thing about the um, level is if you pick up three uh, shotgun shell pickups and the gun, the way you can know if you have killed all the enemies, if you haven't missed a single ammo, your ammo count is 30 and then this guy will spawn. So the dog is one hit kill, and everyone else is two hit kills. And if you haven't missed a single bullet, this guy will spawn when you have 30 left. And that's, the, for me, it's the easiest way to count, rather than counting like how many enemies I've killed, because that's too much brain power to be using. And... Yeah, the most important one is to keep track of the wandering enemies. There's five of them. Two club guys, a dog, two pistol guys. And even sometimes you only see one club guy outside, which means you have four of them left running around on the level. Those are the ones who can usually cost you like a minute if the dog runs away, if the club guy runs like somewhere just hiding. They can run anywhere. So that's why if you can keep track of those five enemies, it's the easiest. Because all these enemies, like this, these two, this club guy, this club guy, these two, this guy, and then the front yard three guys are all set spawns that cannot be changed. It's just those five enemies who are the ones you have to be able to track and recognize and uh, 
yeah, that's about two. I can do one level of Tomb Raider 2. Let's do the home sweet home. Just level level skip. So remember when the levels level starts you trigger five enemies. And I will try to explain on the way how to track them properly. And hopefully I get good spawns, so it's like super like easy to uh, recognize also. I'm gonna do one med just to prove the point. This strat used to be considered too risky, but I can't remember who figured it out. The pathy. So what do we get? Shotgun. Kill the guy. Jump down. And now we spawn the two club guys running behind me. One is there. So I'm gonna go backyard. Kill those. <laughs> and now these two guys. These are the ones who spawned from the balcony. Like when I landed. Now there's two um, pistol guys. There's a dog. There's the five wandering enemies now. Let's hope we see here some of them. Zero yet. Okay, none of them yet. Nope, there's one pistol gun. I missed one bullet. So that's Glock guy from house. Two. Okay, so I've killed all the uh, wandering enemies now. That's crazy. And I missed two bullets, so I have 28, and that means the last guy will spawn. Let's do it again. And see if I can get different outcome. Because that was quite hectic, actually, because all of them came at the same time. And even then, I was able to do it with one med. I'm gonna do it like a few times, so it's like, hopefully, hopefully it will, uh, help. Because it, it, you can definitely make it quite consistent level, in a way. Obviously, you can't get really insane times at all, but consistently. But hopefully this would help at least, like, not missing an enemy randomly. One, and then just take two club guys. There's the dogs and all that stuff. So now there's five wandering enemies. What is this RNG, by the way? <laughs> okay. One club guy, there's the second one. Now, now if you see enemies, they're the wandering ones. Those are the set spawns I've killed now. Dock inside. So this is a wandering enemy. And you go for these two guys here. So that's the wandering as well. And you go inside, there's the two guys and dog. And then... Okay, that's risky. I took the dog hit. But yeah, you, you just have to take it like safer than... And I missed one bullet, so it's like the guy is spawning. And I'll do one more time. I'm re the reason I'm doing a level skip cheat is... And 
redo the level is just so it wouldn't have have the same exact same RNG. I'm just trying to show multiple variations of it. So that was pretty good RNG. That was like the most average, I would say. Where you get the two club guys and then the two pistol guys and a dog inside the house in one group almost. But that's the that's a good thing about the um uh, the house. Like when you go into it. Oops. You can use the uh, the door and the wall as a cover. Now just go for the backyard again. I like to use camera like a diagonally so you can I can see further. I'm getting really insane RNG with these two guys by the way. Also, don't leave these running because of the reason uh, the game can only handle five enemies at the same time loaded. But you need to remove these enemies as fast as you can. Only the exception is like you don't go for the front yard guys if you have guys inside a mansion. So that's the first wandering enemy. Dog. That's the second wandering. Now there's two guys and dog inside the house. That's a wandering dog. I may have got an yeah, I got an outcome. So when I was approaching the front yard, you saw the guy running from here. It was a bit confusing. And that was the one, the last wandering pistol guy from the ancient uh, mansion. So that was a different outcome again. But even then, like, it would help me to run inside this house. Just to, like, not get hit. I'll do one more time, one more time. Even if you try to keep up with all the um, the wandering guy spawns, like where they are, how many you have you have killed? Like that last example was really good for the that they can be anywhere, and it can get a bit confusing sometimes. But it's one of those things you will get better at, it. and. Just over time, repetition, experience. Okay, enemies, come here. Okay, the dog really didn't want to. You just have to hunt this dog. I missed two shots on dog. Okay, that's the wandering dog. The reason I didn't roll to kill the club guy is because I do not want to get hit by a dog. They are they do so much damage. So now that's the dog from the inside of the mansion. So now only two club guys and a two pistol guys alive from there. I don't see any of them yet. So it's these two guys. Now I have one more pistol guy inside the house. And yeah. That's the home with home. Hopefully that 
that helped and helps at least in some sense. Don't you think you've seen enough? 